We would be honored if you would join us. Hey, Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another action figure review. This one I've been holding off on for a little bit. R5-D4 from The Mandalorian. He is my hero. He is my spirit droid. He is my life partner <laughs> in droids. Uh, VC-303. Yeah, this one came out a couple of months ago now. Um, only just gotten a hold of it myself. Um, he's actually been sitting here for about a week just because I... Uh, I had some problems with my voice last week, so I haven't been able to record too much over the last few days. But um, yeah, excited to have this one in hand. He's uh, he's one I just didn't grab when I saw him first. Um, and yeah, finally decided to grab him. Um, you know, it was silly not to. I would like to get another keep on card, but um, we'll get a nice look. Always need more R fives. And I've uh, only got a sort of, I've only been using a sort of a crusty old, slightly yellowed R5 on my Mandalorian shelf. So this one's going to be a nice, a nice fit into that shelf. So let's take him open and have a look. All right, guys, here is R5-D4. And there's obviously the draw card for releasing this figure on the Mandalorian card back. And that is to include it with the, uh, with the N1 Starfighter from last year, which is an amazing piece. Um, so we'll look at this extra piece. I did do an individual review on that. I'll put that in the description right at the end of the video so you can click straight on over um, to check out the review on the N1. Um, but yeah, we'll take a look at how he sort of swaps in there now that I can finally do it. So yeah, um, in terms of the figure, it's, a, it's, it's simply a, you know, a repaint from the old Builder Droid molds, which is probably, you know, probably, probably a slight little bummer for the figure um it is an old mold i think there's definitely better things they could have could have done with r5 um given that he had quite a big part to play towards the end of season three you know i think including the legs with some rocket boosters would have been cool given that he he made use of those that would have been a nice addition but also the weathering on him is is pretty good. He's not clean. He's sort of dirty brown. I assume at this point he's sort of been cleaned up because you see in the show his little thing that sort of burst open his motivator. He's got like a bit of an oil spill down the back. So that would have been a cool touch if they'd um, included that as well. But yeah, nonetheless, his arms or feet, or legs, do sort of pop out, like so, on each side, the middle leg will, will sort of slide in and out as well, and of course the, the head does pop off to expose the inner workings, and yeah, just a hollow cap there, but otherwise he is, he is, he still looks cool. Um, and I'm glad I didn't pay full price retail for this guy. Um, I did wait because I knew it was a builder droid figure. Um, you know, brand new down here in Australia, 35 bucks. Mm, yeah, not quite worth it. Um, I managed to just snag this one on Amazon. It was on, on sale for about 17 bucks, I think. So I, uh, I just snagged him. I thought, no, nah, it's time. Still, I'll give give him credit where credit is due. The paint is nice. The, the sort of the weathering and the dirt looks good. I'm happy with it. He will look nice on the shelf. He will look nice on the uh, N1 as well. So let's let's do that. So the N1 did come with this extra little tray. So you can pop that head just on there like that. We'll bring the Starfighter in. It's going to move the camera up a little bit. So we're going to get this little Grogu piece out. So he just sort of sits in there. We'll replace it with R5. If I can line it up right, there we go. 
So yeah, we can have R5 in the slot there, which is cool. I like that. I think that looks good. You can pop Grogu out and put him on, on Din's lap if you choose. So there's obviously not going to be enough room to put the droid body in there. But that's cool. I like having him in there. I think that's a nice look. Obviously, you can kind of imagine him sort of sitting in there like that, being able to integrate his systems with the with the ship. It'd be cool if they could have found a way to put Grogu on the top of the droid, so you could have him in a little pod, in a little dome, on top like that. So he can cruise around on on the droid top of the droid, but <laughs> that would have been interesting. So yeah, you just put the body aside and zoom zoom R five on an adventure. Again, just popping him out and pop Grogu back in. That's that's how I will display him. I like having Grogu in there like that. You know, hands up on the window. He looks cool. But it's nice to nice to be able to do that and swap that out and change it around. We'll pop R5's head back on. Spin around the right way. So pretty much gone through the articulation. Um, just has a swivel head, swivel arms, little pivots at the feet. And yeah, the, the foot is removable, but no movement there. So yeah, he'll go and sit nicely on my Mandalorian shelf. Hope you've enjoyed taking a look at R5. We'll be back more with some more reviews very soon. Till then, may the force be with you always.